song. Well, our next guest co-wrote it. He's also written for Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Maroon 5, and a lot more. He has a Grammy and Golden Globe nomination under his belt, and he's also a Chicagoan. Please welcome Justin Tranter. Hey, Justin. <laughs> I know your family is big fans of Val. I mean, uh, family and friends. When I told all my friends from high school last night I was coming here, they're like, you're going to meet Val. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> will so you tell cute. them I said hi and thank you to come see me in person? I will. Say hi to Coco. Hi, Coco. How are you? Come and come see me. I'm going to steal those glasses from you. If, since we're going to be BFFs now, yeah. those are hot. We just did this whole glass segment. Like, I'm a glass Freak. I love it. It's the best. Oh, those are cute. There you go. Okay, sorry. Go yeah. on. Go on, YouTube. I gotta say, we, we love your music. It's Thank so you. it's so incredible when you actually meet the man behind these songs because you always think oh, it's a Justin Bieber song or it's a Selena song. She wrote it, but right. how does this work in the music business? Yeah. Like, do they come to you? Do you go to them? It depends. It's luckily it's always different, which makes it more fun for me. Um, so like some of the artists I write with, like Gwen Stefani is an amazing songwriter. Imagine Dragons. Like I'm, with those people, I'm always with the artist. Um, with Selena. I've co-written with her. Uh, I've done songs, you know, me and Julia Michaels did a lot of songs for Selena before we met her and then right. dug in deep. So it's different every single time. Like, right. are you in the room with them when you do work with them, like sitting like next to each other, writing like, what do you think about this? Okay, what do you for think sure. about this? For sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And do you who come do up you with like, a... Who do you <laughs> like working with the most? Well, well that's it. So far. That's a tricky question. You're going to get me in trouble. I, okay, top uh, three. Well, I'll just say like, you know, working with Gwen Stefani because she was such an idol of mine as a kid. Okay. That to get to work with her, I, I can like safely without upset anyone say that that was pretty mind-blowing because I was like she's one of the main reasons I make music so yeah, right amazing. your song issues was up for a Grammy for song of the year yeah. which is incredible do you ever hear <laughs> and you're yeah, you're, you're, a, you're a musician yourself right you were in a band you're in a musician yourself yeah. is, it, is it ever do you have to did you have to come to peace with hey I'm gonna write these songs I'm gonna make a lot of money but yeah. I'm gonna be behind the scenes instead yeah. of being the one performing the song well it kind of happened Accidentally, my band uh, was amazing. We did a lot of really cool things, but we never made enough money to like set up a life. And uh, the struggle just kept getting harder and harder. And uh, a woman was hired at my publishing company named Katie Vinton, and she came in and listened to the band's album, and she was like, this sounds amazing. I can't wait for the new album to come out. In the meantime, would you want to write for other people? Um, and I just said, sure. I'm like an extreme overachiever, so I was like, yeah. I'll just do anything. Um, and that's literally what started this whole career for me on accident. So I didn't have to make like the hard decision of like, right. I'm not going to sing anymore. It just kind of happened for me, and I was very grateful for it. Yeah. Your process. I want to know more about like when you're writing a song for somebody. I heard that you actually like really get to know them so you make sure that you're hitting a chord with them <laughs> hitting a chord <laughs> <laughs> I cracked my no, own stuff up it was good it was good yeah. Um, yeah it's it's you know my favorite thing to do is just to like to dig into the truth as quickly as possible so how um, I mean just be like do you hate yourself do you yeah. love yourself <laughs> Do you, do you, are you in love? Do you, like, what is it? I just, like, dive in as quickly as I can. Um, I have a song out right now called I'm a Mess with B.B. Rexa. And B.B. Rexa is an amazing uh, songwriter herself. Uh, we were writing together, and she's told this story before, so I'm not, like, spilling tea. Okay. Um, but she, like, was not having a very good day and found out some really bad news about someone she was dating. Ooh. And she was like, I didn't want to come today. Like, I'm, I'm just such a mess. And I was like, well, let's just, that's our song. Let's just write that. And wow. that was the first time I ever met her. And wrote a song called I'm a Mess, and it just went top 10 on pop radio today. That's wow. genius. That is. I mean, because think about everybody is a mess at some point. So when you're writing these songs for these people, that's their story. Yeah. But when people talk about it, they're not alone. Everybody's a mess at some point. Exactly. Right. Oh, we could write a whole album about Val. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. You want to talk to me in the commercial break? And I do know my F court. There you go. Hey, let's talk about uh, the fact that you are giving back to Chicago. Chicago yes. Academy for the Arts, a near and dear place to you. Because yes. this really changed the course of your life, going to school there. 100%. So I, I grew up in Lake Zurich and went through the Lake Zurich uh, public school system, which was not uh, kind to me. Uh, you know, being very proud of my femininity and my queerness at a very young age. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I was faced with a lot of bullying. You know, I came out of the closet in 1994 when I was 14. Uh, you know, in public school in Lake Zurich, so that was oh, not yeah. that was not oh. easy. Um, and so my parents, my dad's here. Um, they found me the Chicago Academy for the Arts, which changed my life overnight. Walking into this school, not only with an amazing arts education, academic education, but where I was safe. Yes. And I could be who I wanted to be, and I could explore the music I wanted to explore. So now that I have financial privilege, I like to pay my privilege forward as much as possible. Oh, so, and now you yeah. want to change their lives. Yes. 
So um, I, we built a recording studio at the school so that the, the kids can make music at the highest, most current contemporary level. And we opened the studio tonight, which is why I'm here in Chicago. That's incredible. We actually have the head of the Chicago Academy for the Arts. Uh, Jason Patera is in our audience. Jason, how much will this donation help the school? This, this donation is incredible. It's, it's going to transform the education for our kids in three ways. It pairs first-rate, world-class tools with these hyper-creative kids and also provides this training for them so that they're not only working on the best equipment, but they're studying with the best people on production values and technological values. Uh, but maybe most importantly, as an alum who's been incredibly successful, who's also become this really important activist, uh, Justin, is, he, he's an, an incredible inspiration to the whole community. That is really yeah. nice. What's next for you, Justin? What's next for me? Um, just writing. I write all day, every day. Uh, Julia Michaels, who uh, we started out writing songs together for other people, and now she sings her own music and is taking over the world. She has a bunch of new music coming, more BB Rexa music coming, uh, more Imagine Dragons music coming, so it's all very, very exciting. Yeah, and now quickly, uh, you have an AIDS benefit that you want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, so when I was a senior at my high school, um, I started uh, an AIDS benefit. Uh, it was like a student-run variety show. Um, and it's been happening every single year since I graduated. And so now this year will be the 22nd AIDS benefit. Mm. Yeah. Um, so if you are free on uh, tomorrow night or on Saturday, you can go to the Chicago Academy for the Arts and go to the AIDS benefit and support uh, the cause and watch the students who are all amazing perform like crazy. Yeah, Justin, you're awesome, man. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs>